These are headphones. No, we're still making content. Everything is content. What is going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Yeah. Very good. Um, super excited to be here. We have a special, special guest, Alex, here. He flew in all the way from Nashville just to be here. We're actually both on this season of Hell's Kitchen uh, with Gordon Ramsay, which is super dope. I'm going to go for the best two dishes. The best dish in the blue team is Alex and Sakari for the red team. Please drop your dishes over here. Gentlemen, these dishes are excellent. Let's get that absolutely clear. Alex, that was stunning. Precision beyond belief. Uh, Sakari, it's got the salinity, the right amount of acid, but more importantly, the cook on the card is delicious. Back by popular demand, another day in the life. Good morning. Uh, we are on our way to the venue. We're gonna have an amazing dinner tonight. We have a very special guest from Nashville, Chef Alex. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Stay tuned, love. It's gonna be incredible. We have two incredible chefs today. Chef Sakari and Chef Alex. Uh, Alex and uh, how long have you guys known each other for? Almost a year. Almost a year. Yeah. Um, we feel like we've known each other for forever. So we're yeah, gonna yeah, let's go. Discussing what's gonna happen, bro. You wanna talk, man? No, you It's a cold roasted carrot salad. It's got a honey lava, tangerine vinaigrette, chive oil, duca, which is a Mediterranean nut, seed, and spice blend. Someone has an almond allergy, there are no almonds. And then there's some pickled fresnos for some spice, some peat, and pea tendrils because, well, peas and carrots thing. So that's it. weeks. I grinded it for 24 hours. I cooked it sous vide at 144 degrees for two days. I then compressed it overnight. I then vacuum sealed it, packed it in a cooler, and shipped it here from Nashville.
morning, good morning, good morning. Man, last night was so, so special. And nothing nothing beats in the kitchen cooking with, with someone that is a great leader, someone that is a great friend, and that is just as passionate as you in cooking. So day one is down, day two is about to immense. Uh, oyster, oyster fat, just cream that's been reducing, reducing, reducing. Uh, smoked potatoes in there as well. A little caviar, oyster, so please, please enjoy. And uh, yeah, that's it. Dig in while it's hot, dig in, dig in, dig in. Enjoy. And that's it, guys. Super excited for tonight. It's a special, special night because we got Alex here, so yeah. Okay. Tonight we have a fun duo for you. <laughs> We've got Chef Sakari. Hey! hey. about what's in front of you. Life is a journey and you just move on and you keep walking. So That's I it. walked myself straight to New York. <laughs> <laughs> My knees hurt. But this is your first course. Uh, this was the first dish that I created when I opened my restaurant. I love vegetables. A lot of people don't like vegetables because they've been bad very poorly. So if my love for vegetables came from my mother, I would make all asparagus taste like canned asparagus, <laughs> which is a sin. So uh, this is a roasted carrot salad, honey labna, tangerine vinaigrette, pickled Fresno chilies, and some duga, which is a Mediterranean nut seed spice blend, and bean tendrils for gone. My time in New York City was incredibly special. That city has such an energy about it and it's incredibly captivating. Walking the streets, talking to vendors, shopping at the Union Square Market are all a part of that charm. Being able to cook in New York, especially during the holidays, was just surreal. Cooking in a city with a million different places to eat and being able to sell out back-to-back -back dinners is unreal. I've missed being in this element. I've missed cooking with someone that is just as passionate about this craft as I am. Sakari was a huge part of why this trip was so successful. Being able to bring a few dishes that mean so much to me was also a bonus. My roasted carrot salad is so unassuming that it never fails to impress. And at the end of the day, I'm Southern through and through. So my dish of short rib and crispy potatoes really hit the mark. Hell's Kitchen gave me a lot of great things, but meeting and becoming friends with an amazing group of talented chefs is by far the greatest. Who does it better? <laughs> 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 <laughs>